Aye, aye, aye. Two to three weeks later, here I am again. Welcome back to the Phoenixia YouTube channel. And I'm back after about two weeks. This video is just going to explain where I've been, what happened, uh, what's what's going on, what's the future going to be like. So uh, I guess I'll just get straight into it. Oh, by the way, excuse me trying to explain stuff. I'm not a very good speaker, okay? <laughs> so for the last two weeks, I've been in hospital with no answers or not even an inkling of information about what's wrong with me. And this all started a few weeks ago. I I was in work and then I noticed I started feeling very sort of shaky and very, very weak. And I, I, I just had to sit down multiple times throughout the day. I'm like, oh, I, I can't, I actually can't get through it. Because I'm very stubborn, I, I, <laughs> I went through the day regardless. Um, so then I went home and I pretty much went to bed straight away because I felt like ass, absolute ass. Like I felt like I was going to die. I woke up the next day. I felt okay, fine. Yeah, I, I, I felt like I was able to work. Let's put it that way. So again, I, I, I went into work like normal and then sort of 12 o'clock lunchtime came around and I, I just I, I felt the same way again. I felt weak, I was shaky, my temperature was up high, and I was like, oh, and I, I just, I just went at a snail's pace. I was going so slow, and the afternoon just dragged out. And then, just like every other day, I left, I went home, and I took the next day off, which was just Thursday. I took the Thursday off. And then I came back on the Friday. The Friday, I felt much, much better, right? I wasn't, I wasn't shaky, I was, I was, I was a little bit, sort of, Meh, but nowhere near as bad as um, Tuesday and Wednesday, right? But then th throughout the day, I noticed my temperature was, was going up, and then a lot of my workmates noticed, like, how red I was because, I'm, my, like, my temperature was so high. And I was trying to tell them, I was like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So it was Friday, I wasn't working that weekend, I went home, and bosh. And then over the weekend, that, that weekend was when things got really bad. I went to sleep Friday night, and... I, I I sort of woke up with like a very very chesty cough and it was it, it was really bad like I was coughing so much I was giving myself headaches just constantly so uh, I was on the paracetamols I was on the throat soothers and all this other crap and then I went to sleep Saturday night Saturday night was the killer I woke up in the middle of Saturday night bear in mind this was maybe about two or three hours after I went to sleep initially I woke up right I just I just woke up but I couldn't open my eyes I was awake but my eyes were just absolutely sealed shut no matter what i did like th they were locked so then i'm trying to break open my eyes and come to realize like there was a bunch of like gunk that had built up over my eyes and it, it had sealed my eyelids shut then i went to go and look in the mirror and my eyes were blood red absolutely blood red um around my eyes and as well as my actual eyes were just blood red and i remember looking at my lips as well and the, my, my lips were starting to go all like sort of plump and they were scabbing and stuff i was like oh this this is good but me being stubborn i i didn't go to the hospital straight away or the doctors or whatever no i thought he would uh i thought he'd pass in like a day or two <laughs> i went the rest of the weekend trying to deal with it i was just sort of taking it easy drinking lots of water and just and just laying in bed the whole time pretty much because i felt so weak and i felt so tired and it just, it just it just wasn't good at all. And then Monday morning came. I I I I I decided to take the week off because it didn't look like this thing was going anywhere. So uh, I messaged my boss. I was like, hey, I'm not gonna be able to come in. Da da da. Sorry. I spend Monday recovering. Tuesday, Tuesday of that week, I wake up and I am just I'm I'm completely just dead again. It took me about 30 minutes that morning to open my eyes because that, that's how sealed shut my eyes were, right? And my lips were sore. They were like bulging out my face pretty much. Eyes even redder than before. I was coughing like a motherfucker. And and and, and I was feeling dizzy as well. Like I, 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 could, I could barely walk. So then I... <laughs> I caved in and I was like, right, let's, let's go to the hospital. So we, uh, we went to the hospital, got checked in. The nurse uh, comes to see me. Uh... I, I, I forgot exactly what she was saying, but she was asking me a bunch of questions, you know, checking my blood pressure and sticking IVs and shit in me and whatever. And then it's sort of just a waiting game on Tuesday then. We're, we're just waiting around for answers or for someone to come in. And, and we, we have a few people back and forth sort of uh, in, investigating me, I suppose, like looking at w w what the issue is. And But most of that day was just waiting in a room with tubes stuck in me. <laughs> so now the, the time's about eight o'clock now. Right. Oh, just before eight o'clock. The, the the main doctor consultant guy. He uh, he comes down, 
And uh, we're talking to him and he's like, oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, I asked, what time am I going to go home? He said, uh, I think it's best if you stay here overnight. Now, I've never stayed in a hospital before. Like, I I've never really been ill before, right? It's it is so rare that I get like, like, this is probably the first time I've been, like, properly ill. The most extreme illness I've had is uh, a cough. <laughs> a cough or a runny nose, you know, it's, it's, it's it, I just don't get ill. But clearly something went went wrong somewhere and I contracted something from somewhere. So that sort of scared me a little bit when he said I, 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 he'd like me to stay the night. I refused and I ended up going home. But uh, I said to the doctor, I'd, I'd come back in the next day. I, 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 I will. So I think this is about nine o'clock the next day. I went in, got checked in again, and they, they put me in my own room. I'm sort of just playing the waiting game again. Not much happens the next few days. When I'm in hospital, uh, the, the, I, guess, I guess some people that are back and forth. Um, the, 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 there was like this photographer that came around. He's taking pictures of my eyes and lips or whatever. And then I got all these doctors uh, coming in, asking me a bunch of questions, getting like a million blood samples drawn from me and shit. Um, and then a couple of days into my stay there, they moved me up to uh, one of the wards, right? So for more like a like a long-term stay, I suppose. And uh, and that's where I stayed until I was released. So they moved me up to, uh, to the ward. Where I, I, I like a, I had like a proper room with like a proper bed and I had like an ensuite bathroom and a TV and shit. I was like, oh fucking right. The only thing with the TV, it didn't have, a, it didn't have a TV remote and it was very high up on the wall. So if I wanted to change the ta channel, I'd have to get out of bed and just like absolutely stretch my body to the max to change the channel. <laughs> so most of the time, it was, it was, it was on uh, channel four. I remember the first night I spent spent up there, I was really not well. Um, I remember being up there and then I, I, I just remember like coughing up all this blood and I, I, I almost choked. There was so much blood and phlegm coming out of my throat and with, with my throat already being as tight as it is, I, it, it, it all got stuck and I, I just I couldn't breathe for a little bit and I, I panicked because I've, I've had experience with choking before and it, it is the most scariest thing you could probably uh, experience. And as soon as I felt that feeling of choking, like I knew straight away, like this is, you know, <laughs> This is really not good. Luckily, I managed to cough it all out before it was too late. Like, I had, like, this bowl. Like, they gave me, like, these, um... Not not cardboard, but, you, you know, like, an egg container? Sort of that material? Uh, I had, like, bowls of them. The nurses kept restocking me with, with them because, um, I need something to spit in. And that entire bowl was just... Red, man. Like, I, I can't explain to you how red this blood was. It, it, there was no clear liquid in it. It was just pure fucking red. Bear in mind, uh, this, this whole time I have been re receiving like medication uh, from the nurses and the doctors and that. Um, they were giving me these um, eye drops, these three three sets of eye drops, I should say, that I got to take four times a day. They uh, they gave me them. Uh, they would give me like paracetamol and some antibiotics and uh, what have you. It was a rough night because, well, <laughs> every night I was there was rough because. One, I couldn't get a good sleep, and that, that, that's for a few reasons. That's one because it's a, I'm, I'm in a place I'm not familiar with, <laughs> um, so I I don't know what's around me. I don't know where's where. You know, it's, it's all new to me. Two, it's it's different bed, and three, I I also kept waking up in the middle of the night because my mouth was severely messed up and is still severely messed up. That's why I sound a little bit um shit. My mouth, the best way to describe it, felt like razor blades. Like, it felt like everything, all the flesh in my mouth was just all hanging off. Like, th th that's what it felt like. I don't know if that's what it was, but it, ju it just felt awful. And any food or any drink I would put into my mouth, it would just, it, it would, it was all, it was really bad. Really, really bad. Um, It just felt like someone was going in there with a knife and just cutting holes into, I, I, I can't describe it to you. And that goes for my tongue as well. Um, The tongue was, was the worst one because anything that would sit on my tongue, would absolutely burn my mouth. It, it, it would burn so much. Like I, I would spit the drink out. I would spit the food out, and I, like I, there, there would be tears building up in my eyes because of how painful it was. So w w when it came to eating there, um, I would usually uh, resort to like liquidy food, like soup, or for dessert, I'd have like custard or like a yogurt or something. But then, uh, of course, over time, I sort of forced myself to eat uh, more solid foods, and it hurt. Don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm definitely getting used to it, and uh, it's getting much better now. Uh, I'm still having issues with the tongue, like it still burns to put anything in my mouth. But the good thing is it doesn't feel like razor blades. Um, the mouth itself is, is healed, it's just it's just the tongue. So yeah, anyway, um, I'm, I'm in the ward, I spend my first night there. Um, 
I have food the next morning and I, I couldn't really eat it. I can't remember what day, but um, th there was one day, uh, oh, I should probably say this too. Every every morning, I'd have the doctor consultant, like sort of the, the team investigating me, come and see me in the morning, and they would they would give me an update of what they've discovered or um, what's what's wrong with me. I remember the the doctors came in one morning. They were they were going through uh, some updates. Bear in mind, most of the days, most of these updates were the same thing. Like they would sit, be saying the same shit. We we can't figure out what's wrong with you. Uh, we, we're still trying to figure out what's wrong with you. Um, we're going through everything in the book testing you for everything possible to see how this happened and whatnot. Um, and to this day, I, they still don't have a clue what was wrong with me <laughs> or, or how it began. They have ideas of what I had and how it could have started, but nothing's official, you know? But the doctors come in and they're going through. She, she was a lovely doctor, very polite. She came in with, for the first time, some actual news. And she goes, right, um, we've, we've been looking at some stuff or whatever. Um, Blah blah blah. Long story short, uh, the doctors are thinking you could possibly have. Right, hang on. I'm gonna try to read this. Reactive infectious mucocutaneous <laughs> eruption, or rhyme for short. I should have just said rhyme in the beginning. And then another one, Stephen Johnson syndrome. And upon looking these two things up, uh, they are very similar. Uh, to the symptoms I had, but like there are some symptoms that I don't have from from this um, from these diseases or whatever. But some uh, some some of it I do, I did, and I was like, right, okay, this is probably the closest I'm gonna get. But they said it was like nothing serious, like I'm not in danger or anything. It's just um, my body reacted, or, or sorry, overreacted to to something. Whether it's a bit of medication I had, or if it's something, someone. And I think it was maybe a day or two later, I went for a CT scan. I got the results later that night. Oh, sorry, sorry, the doctors got the results later that night. And I got them tomorrow, uh, the next day. They came in and they said um, they found pneumonia in my lung. Like, a, there, was, there was a spot of pneumonia. But again, they said it's nothing too serious, because I'm not... Like, I'm not deathly ill from it. Either way, they weren't too concerned about it, so that that naturally put me at ease. Because if they started panicking about it, then I would start panicking about it. Um, but apparently the, the pneumonia was could have been the cause for me coughing up all that blood and, and just the coughing in general. After the CT scan, not really much happened. You know, I, I was... They told me about the Stephen Johnson syndrome and the rhyme and the, the the pneumonia. Throughout the days, I was I was getting better. You know, my, my eyes were getting more white. Um, my lips were healing, <laughs> not very quick, but they they, they were healing, and uh, as well as my mouth was definitely healing as well. The tongue, very slow to to heal like that. That's still healing now. It feels like it hasn't healed at all. But uh, days went by. The doctors came in and they're saying, um, like, oh, we still can't figure out what's wrong with you. You're you're a medical mystery. One of them told me. So what we're doing, we're covering absolutely all bases. Every infection, every bloody whatever. It basically everything in the book that they were testing me for. They were so desperate. Almost every day, the nurses would come in and take samples of blood and. And then more days are going by and I'm feeling very good. Like, I, my eyes are pretty much white again. Uh, I'm able to look around thanks to the, all the eye drops and shit that I've been having. They still feel a little heavy. They're not sore anymore. Like, I, I'm, I'm actually able to look around the room without it hurting. Last weekend came. Uh, the doctors aren't around on the weekends. They have the weekends off. So I, I didn't see the doctors Saturday, Sunday. And I didn't see them Monday either because it was a bank holiday and they don't work bank holidays either. So I went three days without an update. Um, and th that whole week before the weekend, like, I was really worried that I wasn't going to be out. Like, I thought I was going to have to stay here another week because I, 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 I had no indication that I was going home anytime soon. Like No one said, like, oh, you could potentially be out uh, at this date. Like, every time the doctors would come in, I, I, I would ask them. I said, so is there any potential date I could be leaving or... And they would always say the same stuff. Oh, yeah, well, we still got a lot of things to test and we're still waiting for samples to come back uh, from Cardiff and all this shit. And I was like, okay, yeah, no, fair enough. I don't expect you to have an answer. But but then just the other day, on Tuesday, um, all the doctors were back in and one doctor who I'd never seen before, he was someone new but apparently working on, on my on my case. He comes in with a team of two other doctors. Um, very friendly guy, got to give it to him. Very, uh, you know... Very nice doctor came in. Hello, uh, how are you doing? Uh, how, how are you feeling? I said, Yeah, I'm. I'm feeling. I'm 
you know, much, much better than, than, than it was a week ago, two weeks ago. He said, oh, that's, that's, that's brilliant. And he said, uh, so how are you feeling physically? I said, physically, I, I, I feel, I, I feel great. I feel completely different from how I did two weeks ago. And then he said, um, do you feel like you're ready to go home? And I said, personally, yeah, I, I feel like I'm ready to go home. And then he, he, he looks at the other doctor and then he goes, I guess, so why are we keeping him here? He said, and then uh, I think the other doctor said like, oh, uh, we're, we're still conducting tests and we're still waiting for samples to come back and da da da. And then um, he said, um, yeah, but the boy said he's, uh, he's well enough to go home. Or, or something like that. This is very vague. It, it, it all it all sort of happened quick, and then uh, they're sort of talking back and forth, some medical mumbo jumbo and shit. And then it, it was it was just like that. The, the the doctor said, "Well, I know you don't want to be here, so I'm I'm willing to let you leave. Um, I'm, will, I'm willing to let you leave today if you want. But don't don't hesitate to come back if if things go bad again, and uh, I will we'll see you soon, maybe." I said, "Oh." Thank you so much. You know, I was I was I was really really appreciated because he, he he was the first guy to even mention to me about going home. And like I I was planning to ask the doctors on that day if I could go home or potentially when I could go home, but I didn't even have to ask. Like he 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 came in and that was like one of his first questions to me. So I was very happy about that. So uh, I got the, di the the discharge um, meds and notices already and I, I packed up, left my room and, and, and went home and, and here I am today. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of um, key points throughout that um, that story but all you really all you really need to know is I was in hospital for two weeks. I potentially had Rhyme and Steven Johnson syndrome and I have pneumonia or had pneumonia or whatever. I'm very much still in the healing process but I am much much better than I was two to three weeks ago. Um, all that's left that needs to be healed for me is my throat, mouth, tongue area, uh, as well as my lips. So yeah, pr pretty much the whole mouth and throat. When that's back to normal, I think I can make videos again. I'm in the mood to make videos, honestly. I am. I, I really want to make some videos, but I, I don't want to make videos where I, I sound like I don't have like a lisp, you know? But hey, I'm back. I am home and uh, expect new videos very soon. I got two videos that are ready to be uploaded that I'm going to start uploading again next week, I think. These two videos were for, from before I was ill, so uh, you know I, I'm going to sound fine in these ones. Sorry I sound like a bit of a dribble, but you know, it's part of the healing process. I'm trying to, trying to get better and uh, hopefully I'm better by the end of the week or by next week or whatever. So in, in total, I've taken four weeks off work just to try and get better and I hope I don't have to take more. It is nice not being in work and it is nice just chilling out and um, sort of thinking of ideas and reflecting on things. I've missed making videos, I've missed my bloody PC, I've missed the gaming, I've, 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 I've missed everybody. So with that, I'm gonna leave this here and uh, yeah, it, it's good to be back and I hope you're all doing well. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.